finding the right PDF editor can be a very time consuming process. And so I want to show you three ways to edit PDF files for free. And it works on all operating systems. In addition, I'll walk you through a step by step process on how each of these apps work. And so for this video, I downloaded an app from pdfdrive.com called 8020 of Sales and Marketing. My name is Isaac, and I'm a pharmacist with a strong interest in tech. I want to help you increase your workplace productivity while also simplifying IT related topics. Let's get started. Let's head over to canva.com. Don't worry if you don't have the pro version. The free version allows for PDF editing just fine. From your Canva homepage, click on Upload. Then Browse. Select the file you wish to edit and click on Open. Alternatively, you could drag your file right into Canva. To do that, open your file explorer by using the shortcut Ctrl plus E. Navigate to the location of your file, in my case it's on desktop. Drag the window to the right side of the screen until it snaps into place. Now select your browser and that gives you a side-by-side -side window like this. Simply drag your file into Canva and wait for the upload process to complete. Click on view. If you missed that, simply scroll down to the designs section and you should be able to see your file. Let's click on the uploaded file to open. Open Word, click Open and just locate your file. You are going to come across this alert box asking you to convert your PDF file to an editable Word document. Click on OK. And this looks quite decent. One thing to point out here is that as you can see, the text comes in blocks. But that is not the case for the whole document. You can change the font as well. The bottle, increase font size, pretty much everything you want to do. For option three, we head over to searchda.com, click on edit a PDF document, upload your file, and this is also pretty decent. As you can see here, the text also comes in blocks, which is the, the downside. And so feel free to play around with all three of these apps and find the one that, that works best for you. Oftentimes you see that you need more than one of these apps. So as a backup, don't stick to just one. Some time ago, I wrote an article about this. So I'll drop that in the description below. If you found this video helpful, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with more content like this. See you in the next video.